What's going on, everybody? Today, I wanted to go through and walk you through how I solved this number 806 number of lines to write string uh, problem on leak code. This is by no means like the way to do it. This is just how I figured it out. It has a lot of downvotes. I guess it's because I didn't really find it too bad, the description, but a lot of people are complaining or the people that are talking about this are complaining that it's um, pretty poorly written. But essentially this problem, it gives you uh, two arguments, one widths, another uh, the string, and widths is as long as the alphabet, the English alphabet. And so index zero would be A, um, and in this case it's worth 10, B is 10, et cetera. And in the se second example, widths is the same thing, a 26 character long, or 26 length array, and A in this case would be four, so in this string, which is B, 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 C, 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 D, 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 A, 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 all the A's are worth four pixels in this case. So you're supposed to uh, return an array where the first index is the total number of lines and the second index is the width of the last line in pixels. So I've already completed this. I've got my solution on, the, on another screen. I just wanted to walk you through kind of what I did. First thing I did was I made an array um, for the alphabet. And then I'm gonna make a object called alphabet with widths. And for now, this is gonna be an empty object. We're gonna set the values of that in a moment. So the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through the alphabet and we're gonna set each of these, we're gonna add keys to this object uh, with, with corresponding numbers, numbers of pixels that each of these letters um, are valued at. And if you remember, widths is always going to be an array uh, with the exact same amount of indexes as or the same amount of items as the uh, english alphabet so what we're going to do is we're going to make a for loop set it equal to or as many items as the alphabet array and for each of these uh, alphabet items we're going to set um, the corresponding so like in the first uh, loop here we're going to the value of alphabet at index i is going to be a we're going to set um, a new key in the alphabet with widths object we're going to set a new key with bracket notation um, and we're going to say al alphabet with widths at the key of alphabet i which currently doesn't exist yet we're going to set it to widths since these are corresponding and they're the same length uh, widths at index i and alphabet and it, at index i there will always be a value for each so that's all we're going to do in this loop now if we console log alphabet with widths we should get an object with all the keys of the alphabet well we would if i spelled it right let's see alpha oh alphabet with widths. So now if we run that, so we get a object with like A is 10 because the first index here is 10, which is which would correspond with A. Um, these are all 10 here, but like in the second test case, the first one is four. So um, A would be four in this case. So all of these A's in this string would uh, be valued at four uh, in the future. Not, not currently, but what we'll do next will. So we're gonna set a couple of variables here. Uh, one is number of lines, and this is gonna be the um, this is gonna be the first value that we return in this array. We're just gonna set this to zero for now. And second, we're going to write last line in pixels, and this is gonna be basically the leftovers. Each line is up to 100, and the last line in pixels is whatever, not whatever overflows, but like if these add up to 98 pixels, and then you have another letter let's say Z, if you have another letter Z that's four, that's valued at four, these first X amount of pixels would be 98, this would be four. So this would count as the first line. And then this one, since it pushes it over a hundred, this would add another line. And this would be the value that last line in pixels would be set at. Hopefully that made sense. It probably didn't. If it didn't, feel free to roast me. All right, so we're going to uh, loop through the string that we get in our second argument or parameter, whatever this is called. And we want to, before I do anything in here, we're just gonna go ahead and return generally the structure that we will end up with at the end. We're gonna return an array with num lines being the first value and last line in pixels being the second value. So in this first array, we're gonna go ahead and jump the gun. We're gonna add whatever value of alphabet with widths. So this object with all the keys in it with uh, the corresponding widths and and letters we're going to go ahead and add that to our last line in pixels oh i didn't set this to zero set last line in pixels to zero and in this first loop here we're going to write last line in pixels 
uh, plus or equals to or plus and equals to alphabet with widths at the key of whatever letter we're at on string. So like if we're at, in this case, alphabet with width at S at index I, this would be basically at if S is a string that says BBB, whatever, CCC. And if alphabet with widths at the key of B has a, a pixel count of, or a pixel value of like four, then we're adding four to last line in pixels. Again, hopefully that made sense. So if we go ahead and console log last line in pixels here, we should get a pretty big number. So 260, we haven't done the line counts or anything, but you can basically think of this in this case, since 260, um, you can divide that by 100 twice and there's 60 left over. What, what it's expecting is gonna be three because there's two full lines with 100 pixels plus one because of 60. 60 is like the leftover, it's the last line of pixels. So three and 60 is left over. So we wanna start adding um, to the number of lines. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if last line of pixels is over 100, then we want to add a new line, plus or equals one. I spelled something wrong, last line of pixels. Oh, last line in pixels. So we wanna to add to uh, num lines and we also want to, we wanna reset last line in pixels to the current value that we're at with alphabet with widths. So instead of adding it, we're just gonna set it to whatever current letter we're at in this loop. So now we're very close. Uh, if you see, we'll run it. We get two, in this case, since we have, this was the one that valued up to 260, we get two, two full lines and 60, but we need to account for this 60 at the end. So that's gonna be our last line. Even though it's not a full line, it still counts as a line because it's a new line. How many times can I say the line in one sentence? That's a good question. So we're just gonna say if last line in pixels is over zero. So if there's any leftover, we're gonna add another line. Delete that, run it again. We passed both test cases. Now let's go ahead and submit it. If you wanna look at the code again, here it is. All right, go ahead and submit it. Let's see how we did. We did it. Beats 93% of users with JavaScript. I don't know how true that is. I feel like most of that is based on their servers because it's always a different number. 42 megabytes, that seems like a lot, but again, it's it seems like the number's always different. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you'd like more videos like this, please let me know. This is the first of what might become a series. I don't know if, if you guys like it, then, you know, that's awesome. Kind of like doing it. Anywho, subscribe if you like the video, like if you love, like the video as well. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Peace.